ahead and start with my dramatically different moisturizing gel from Clinique and I've been loving this recently everybody has been telling me that it's so good and I've waited this long to try it I know I'm ridiculous now I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyes and of course I flinched and it got on my eyebrows so listen even the people that you consider professionals suck at makeup most of the time. So I go ahead and apply my primer, obviously, to make sure my eyeshadow lasts all day. And I'm gonna be taking my Morphe 35O palette and I'm just gonna be using kind of the basics. So don't feel pressured to go out and buy this palette. You can literally find these colors in like every palette that you have or just something close to it. So I'm taking a medium brown on a big fluffy brush that's from one of the It Cosmetics gift sets, like one of their brush sets that came out for the holidays. Um, I'll make sure to list it down below. But basically I'm just creating kind of like a shadow in my crease. So I start out as usual with a medium shade on a big fluffy brush and then I go in with like something a little bit more tapered or something smaller like this brush and start creating a little bit more depth by using a deeper brown. I'm still not going in with a really dark one but like a medium brown. And then I grab a bunch of light shades and start highlighting under my brow and of course I did a little bit too much. So I had to go back in and fix that but before I did I messed up even more and dropped my Lorac Mega Pro 3. I thought it was shattered but luckily Lorac's eyeshadows are just too soft to shatter basically. I have had a few like break on me but that's only because I smushed them with my finger. Now I'm going in with Eggplant from the Lorac Mega Pro 3 on a tapered egg shaped brush. I love this because it's just really nice to blend away especially at the crease. The only thing is I don't have any more of them that are washed so I had to blow off the excess and just kind of brush side to side really gently especially on the edges of that like deep color just to make sure it looks like it's smoked out but you know it's not like completely gone. Now I'm using Showtime from Makeup Geek which actually is a really beautiful color kind of like eggplant but just like a shimmery version of it and I wanted this on the center of the eye I wanted to kind of have a little bit of shimmer to play off of the matte and unfortunately I actually um, felt like it was a little bit dark and so I thought that I had to like blend something else in so I went in with rose quartz again from that same palette the Lorac Mega Pro 3 and I grabbed that and applied that in the inner corner now I thought I was going to make it a little bit lighter but I actually really liked the way that it looked it kind of looked like a purple smoky eye but not really because it went from rose gold to like this nice beautiful kind of deep purpley eggplant but I don't know, I just really enjoyed it. And then I decided to warm up the crease a little bit more, just again to make sure it's nice and soft. And then feel free to just go back in on smaller, more kind of uh, precise brushes into the outer corner. That's how you kind of create that depth and a little bit more darkness without actually adding like black in those kind of shades. I'm gonna go in with a cleanser that you can just use on your face without water. This one is actually usually the one that's standing in Ulta that like they let you use to wipe off your uh, like swatches that you have on your hands, but I just have a lot of fallout and I really don't like that. <laughs> so that's why I do my eyes first. Now I'm gonna go in with the Lancome Grandiose Liner and I'm going to be using this and you can see kind of bends on the top. So it's really cool, it's just it dries really fast. So I have to like work fast and I have to like be make sure I'm precise. So it was a little bit complicated getting used to the technique with that formula. But then I'm going in with a Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I have lately just been like playing around with my eyebrows. I'm still not sure what I, whether or not I actually have a routine. I'm just kind of filling them in on the whim like here and there like okay this looks good. Um, sometimes I mess up, sometimes I make it good, but I'm just still playing around with it because ever since I dyed my hair it's just like, it's I don't know, it's, it's new to me. Um, and now I'm going in and using concealer to just clean it up and then I'm going to go with the Cabral from Benefit to just kind of fix it in the middle and I like create little baby hairs just to even it out because I do feel like it's a little bit uh, sparse in that area but I like to use a really light hand. Now I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer and I'm going to apply this all over my face. I've been loving this primer lately, I'm not entirely sure why but it makes my foundation look fantastic. Then I'm going to curl my lashes and honestly I knew I was going to use fake lashes so I just applied a light coat of mascara and then went in with foundation. This is the Lancome Liquid Cushion Compact and um, they sent this to me. Number one, it's a really full coverage formula. I like that it's buildable but the color is way off. It was so so pale and I can definitely see why it's important to pat it in. 
um, but I did find that in some areas it was easier to just rub it in for it to blend a little bit better but I definitely like the formula throughout the day I saw that it lasted really nicely but it was way pale for me so I had to fix that up a little bit later now I'm using my NYX HD concealer and I'm gonna use this to just like cover up those dark under eye circles I actually really love this if you haven't tried it you really really need to try it now I'm using my Mac Skin Finish Natural in Medium Plus and I'm going to apply this all over the face just to kind of help even out the skin tone by like making it more my skin tone instead of just super pale. And I'm going to use my Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D and apply that contour shade just to create a little bit more depth to my face. You obviously when you put on foundation kind of take away that 3D effect by putting just one bland color all over. And then I'm going to moisturize my lips before I actually work on lipstick a little bit later. And I'm going to go in with my favorite cargo blush. This one is really, really beautiful. It's just like this pearly kind of uh, orangey burnt orange shade I love it and then oh my gosh Ofra came out with a new highlight it's called blissful <gasps> it is so gorgeous it is so gorgeous it may be my new favorite but I do have a coupon code if you guys want I am affiliated with them you could use Olina for 30% off just letting you know it'll be in the description box below now I'm using my Lancome I think it's called Sore Seals Styler it's basically a brown mascara I actually really really liked it and I used the tinted one and obviously going in with my Red Cherry 217 Lashes and then going in with Bordeaux from Ofra. Again, you guys can use that 30% off if you were interested, but everybody was asking me what lip color it was. It was this one. Look at how bomb this formula is. It is phenomenal. It lasted all day and I ate and I did everything and it lasted. I'm like so surprised. I'm using my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara in Carbon Black because obviously I need the blackest lashes of all and applying a little bit of highlight on my nose and I decided to curl my lashes with my Conair wand. Literally this is the only wand that worked for me. I have like a good four or five wands and I used them all and none of them actually held the curl. This was the only one and I was like wow I'm pathetic so I need to go get more wands and stuff. But I ended up going to dinner today with one of my friends. We haven't seen each other in quite a bit. If you guys follow me on my vlog channel, you know Sunana. I am so close with her and so she was studying and I was like gonna go pick her up to go get some dinner at the sushi place and I decided to show her my makeup. Obviously I was a little bit overdressed but I just felt like this was such a fall look for me. I decided to wear a poncho that I got from Lulu's, a turtleneck that I got from Banana Republic, jeans from Express, and my shoes are actually, I think I got them from Macy's, but I'll make sure to include all the information in the down bar for you guys. But I absolutely adore this poncho, let me tell you. I just feel so fall and it is so warm. And the food was so, so, so good. I definitely enjoyed it. So let me know if you guys like to see a little bit more of kind of get ready with me is for specific occasions um, like dinner with friends or whatnot but I love you guys thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video bye